Hey folks, what's shaking? So today we're going to have my first episode of Target Tuesday from my apartment in Laughlin, Nevada. And as you can see, I have a bunch of Panini Mosaic football here. Uh, I like football cards the best out of all the major sports. And with all the news coming down with, with Panini losing their license, Mosaic looks like it might be the last premium product that Panini makes, although I'm hearing that there might be a judge, uh, a judgment that would allow them to continue making what they usually do, um, like Panini Prism and Contenders and stuff like that in early 2024. But this could be it. We have the 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 normal Donruss coming out in November, and some people believe that that will be the end of Panini's NFL product. Now I buy most of my boxes from Target, um, and I've actually had a few lucky hits. Uh, I pulled that uh, Paulo Banquero Monopoly card that's worth a few hundred bucks. I pulled a um, an autograph of uh, Tyrese Maxi out of the little metal can with the four packs for, of uh, basketball. Um, one of those came from Walmart. One of those came from Target. But all of these came from Target. So we're going to have a little contest today. And I know this is just a one small go at it. The the, the the uh, outcome could be different for everybody. Um, I have one mega box, Target Mosaic, Mosaic Football 2023. These cost $60. Now I use my Target red card and I have it delivered to me. Usually my Target in across the river in Arizona doesn't have much. Um, so I usually order it. And they are somewhat slow. You know, I think it took 10, 12, 14 days to get these. So I've got one mega box, $60. I've got two blaster boxes, $60. And I have four of these mega packs, $60. So here, this is $180 worth of unopened retail. Panini Mosaic football product. Um, I participated in a break as a Patreon to um, Andy's uh, football card quest last night, and I wasn't going to do it because I've already got all this Mojave, I mean, um, Mosaic cards, but I did hit a Sam Laporta. Uh, I picked the Lions, and I hit a Sam Laporta auto card. Um, there are no guarantees for autographs out of the retail products, although I hear people have gotten some. There are some really rare, difficult to get cards that are available. Um, it's a fairly high ceiling. But my number one problem with this product, you know, I've already opened one mega box. It's all the retired players that are being put in the product. I'm not a big fan of that. You know, um, like my most valuable card out of the, the, the mega box that I already opened was a, a Jerry Rice number to 10. Um, I sold it like the next day. I didn't really know what the price it had and I was probably cheaper than I should have been. Um, but I'm just not a fan of modern cards of players who haven't played in decades. Um, that, that's the, the one thing that I don't like about this set is a 380 card checklist. And I think about half of them are players that will never play again. Okay, so this is going to take me a long time to put this together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open one one section at a time. Um, I'll probably do the the mega packs first, and then I'll do the blaster boxes. Then I'll do the mega box. And after I do one, I'm going to pause for a little bit and try to figure out. Um, what the estimated value, and I'm only going to look up like the hits. I'm not going to, I'm not going to add up all the the commons. Um, 
But we'll just look and see out of these three contenders, which one had the best return for me. Okay, and then feel free to, to put comments in the uh, comments if you think I missed something or if you think I'm wrong or if you had like a big legendary hit yourself. Um, I have been hearing that these are at uh, Walmart and Targets across America right now. And I think that the uh, the Walmart ones have the blue inserts where Target has the yellow and uh, the blue looks a lot better. But that's my favorite color. Okay. So let's see how this works. Okay, folks. So we've got our first mega pack. These have 15 cards per pack. And look for the exclusive mosaic camo pink parallels. So I have not seen those yet. This is my first time of opening. I think I don't I don't think I've opened really mega packs like this of, of anything. Okay, so we got Miles Garrett, Kyle Pitts, Chris Olave, Devontae Adams, Mina Fitzpatrick. Hey, nice. So there's our Anthony Richardson NFL debut. I will put that down as a hit. Daylon Henley. Sean Clifford. There's, see, this is what I was talking about. There's a Fran Tarkenton. I mean, good for Fran, but that's not really what we're looking for when we buy new cards. You know what I mean? Okay, Jordan Love. Green. Mark Andrews. Pink. Shannon Sharp. Retired. Brian Burns. And then what is this? Touchdown Masters George Kittle. And then Henry Ellard. Silver but retired. Okay. I want to see real quick if any of these are numbered. I don't think so. Yeah. So nothing too great in there. Probably that Anthony Richardson would be the best one. You know, technically we're looking for rookies. That's what uh, that's what the biggest draw is for 2023 product. Is a lot of these guys don't have many rookie cards available yet, and although they will have some, Boomer, Terrell Slugs, Gronkowski. Maurice Jones Drew, Deontay Johnson, Dan Marino, Christian Gonzalez, rookie. Rashi Rice, rookie. Okay, I like him. I think that he might end up being Mahomes' number one wide receiver other than Kelsey. All right. Mike Evans. John Randall, Tony Pollard, Pink, KK Dobbins, Tim Tebow, Touchdown Masters, Tony Pollard, Ep Epic Performers, Tyreek Hill, and then there's a silver, Darius Davis, rookie. And here is uh, Elevate Joe Burrow. I got the, the neon pink one of this for, uh, or neon green of uh, Jerry Rice out of that mega box. That was the best, the best card that I have pulled so far of new product featuring old timers. Peyton Manning, Jason Taylor, Jared Goff, DK Metcalf, Mac Jones, Cedric Tillman, Nolan Smith. Okay, Cameron Latu, 
rookie. Will Anderson Jr. rookie. All right. Derek Henry, Jerome Betts, Joe Namath. And what do we have here? Broncos memories. No, I don't give a damn about Broncos memories. Especially if it's going against the Raiders. Okay. Oh, this has got something fancy on it. Maybe. Or is that just a... Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Aaron Rodgers in a Jets uniform. Didn't last long. Richard Dent, he's done so. Tyreek. Doug Flutie's done so. Tyler Lockett. Peyton Manning's done so. Jaden Reed. DJ Johnson. Rookie. Devin White, Tim Brown, Derrick Henry, Jerome Bettis, Joe Namath again, don't give a damn about Joe, DK Metcalf, and a Joe Burrows Epic Performers. Okay, so that was our Mega Packs. Let's hope that it gets better. Because I don't really think that this is going to turn out very well. Okay, so I just went to check these out from the Mega Boxes. And most of these cards, I'd be lucky to get a buck or two on eBay. Um, the, the most valuable ones, this uh, Will Anderson Green, you know, he was a number one draft pick, first round draft pick. Um, that one, about $2, 2 or $3. And then this uh, Darius Davis Silver was about $3. And the NFL debut, Anthony Richardson, is about 3 or $4. And that, uh, you know, the NFL debut ones are... are that's not the true rookie card. Um, it's just kind of extra stuff that gets thrown in, which is one of my major complaints about this set. Is there's just a, a lot of kind of junkers that get thrown in here. Um, if they would narrow down the checklist and have maybe 200 instead of 380, this would be a better product. Okay, so now you've heard, heard me whining enough. We're going to go with the We're going to go with the um, blaster boxes. And these are 30 bucks a pop at Target. I've been hearing that one of these is actually I think it's the big boxes might be cheaper at Walmart than at Target. Um, but I don't know for sure. Here we go with our blaster boxes. I am hoping right now that the the mega packs that I opened up first is the worst of the bunch because I was not that impressed. Okay, there's Jolton Joe Montana. Everybody likes him, but he retired a long time ago. Cooper Cup. It's nice to see him. Back out on the field, Aaron Jones. I actually put him on my fantasy team because I've like half my team is hurt. Jay Ward, rookie of the Vikings. So let's put that in the good spot. 
Marvin Mims, Broncos rookie. I think that he's actually been playing well. And I think that is a silver. Is that right? Okay, and then why do we need a Peyton Manning Hall of Fame speech? I just don't get it. Another thing I'm worried about with this set is if this is Panini's last major high-end football product, that they're just going to print the hell out of it. Okay, Lawrence Taylor. Two retired guys. Another retired guy. Jamar Chase. Kyler Murray. Thunder Lane. Fred Taylor. Another retired guy. Yeah. Nothing special there. Maurice Jones Drew, Jake Hayner, NFL debut, Malik Willis, AJ Terrell. Now, these all got Dean Corners on them. Michael Wilson, green rookie. Uh, the only reason I know about this guy, I mean, he scored a few touchdowns about uh, a couple weeks ago, but this is the boyfriend of Sophia Smith, who's maybe the best soccer player in America. National Pride, Lamar Jackson, Brian Robinson Jr., Javante Williams, Jim Kelly, who cares? Devontae Witherspoon, rookie. Keenan Allen, meh. Devonta Smith, Keenan Allen, Randy White, Jordan Love, Joe Burrow. We've already gotten one of these already. All right. Whole lot of meh. Jason Taylor, George Pickens. Dalton Kincaid, NFL debut. Tyler Lacey. There's a silver mosaic, Ramondre Stevenson, which I guess is okay. Not really. All right, Warren Sapp, Jalen Waddle, Terrell Davis. The Limey Fohoka rookie card. Okay, Elf Elevata. Oh, too bad that's not a fancy numbered one like I got from Jerry Rice. Dallas Godart. Godart. However the hell you say it. Okay, that first box was crap. Let's see what we get with the second one. This might be a study in why you shouldn't be buying boxes of cards in general. Jerry Kramer, Epic Performers, Josh Allen. Jamison Williams, here's an NFL debut, Jalen Hyatt, Joe Teisman, Anthony Munoz, Jaden Reed. Hey, there's the green NFL debut of Jameer Gibbs. He was my third pick on my fantasy team, and he really hasn't been he really hasn't done much. Still yet to score a touchdown. Um, but and I'm, he's hurt this week. 
I always go after those SEC running backs. All right. Derek Henry, National Pride, Jerome Bettis, Marquise Brown, Calvin Hill, Byron Young. Touchdown Masters. He looks like a little kid there. That looks like a weird... That's a weird picture. We only got two left. Chris Olave, Devontae Adams, Joe Namath, who cares? Ed Reed, T. Higgins. Okay, Jackson Smith, Jigba, he was the first wide receiver taken in last draft, I believe, and he hasn't really done much yet, but I'll take it. That might be one of the best ones we pulled out of these two blaster boxes, which has been a pile of just junk. Mike Quick. Steve Young, who cares? Okay, there's all C.J. Stroud. Probably the best rookie to get cards of right now because he's a quarterback and he's doing well. I did see that he threw his first interception earlier today. It's the NFL debut, which is not worth as much as the regular one. D.J. Johnson. Silver Mosaic. Derrick Henry. And a Jamal Adams memories of the Broncos when they didn't suck. Okay, I'm going to go look these cards up and see what we got. Okay, so looking through those cards, the Jackson Smith Najigba rookie is about three bucks. Uh, the, the other rookies that aren't super popular, there's a few of them, they're about a buck piece. Uh, this Michael Wilson green was about $4. The Jameer Gibbs green NFL debut was about $5. And our CJ Stroud base NFL debut was about 5 bucks. So the blaster boxes were better than the super packs, mega packs, whatever you call them. Um, but not by a lot, just a little bit. But I think that CJ Stroud is the, he's the number one chase out of the set. Okay. We've got one left. Una mas. And... You know, I'd, I'd bought two of these. I opened up the first one. And the first one, even though it didn't really have anything I wanted, it did have the Jerry Rice card that was worth, I don't know, 50 bucks or maybe more. I might have sold it for too cheap. Um, but that was the only, like, numbered special card that has been pulled so far, so far which is what you tend to get. And you are opening retail product. Okay. So, the uh, mega box will end on it. And let's just hope that the mega box is the one to go with because on all of these so far, it would be very difficult to get your money back through eBay. Um, you know, I've got maybe a handful of cards that would sell fairly quickly and the rest of them might be just waiting forever to somebody to spend a buck on a card you know Justin Fields it's my fantasy football quarterback um, he's been great some weeks and terrible other weeks and I just heard that he messed up his hand his throwing hand and he might be getting subbed in for all right Tim Brown another old guy that's been retired forever Jake Hayner, NFL debut. I picked up one of these already in one of the other packs. Luke Cookley, Elite. Cole Komet. Here's the Zach Martin Yellow. These are exclusive to the Hobby uh, Mega Boxes. In Thunder Lane, Fred Taylor. 
I remember going to Arkansas, Florida game with my mother. Uh, it was probably late 1990s, early 2000s, and Fred Taylor was running the ball for Florida, and he just went crazy. But that was a long time ago. During simpler times. All right, Damian Pierce. He's on my fantasy football team. He's mediocre. Tua. He's been the best surprise, biggest surprise in the NFL as far as I'm concerned, although I think that he is struggling today. Malik Willis. Colby Wooden. Packers. Quinton Johnson. Yellow rookie for the Chargers. And Devonta Smith. Keenan Allen Elite. All right. So we've got Deshaun Massage Parlor Watson. Cameron Jordan, Lamar Jackson. Here's a show, Shaquille Leonard Silver. Devontae Adams. Ray, I ain't murder nobody, Lewis. And Debo Samuel. Okay. Bunch of meh. Desmond Ritter, who's been playing pretty good today. Chandler Jones, Brian Robinson Jr., Sam Laporta, rookie. All right, I, I got a sweet autograph of his coming in the mail, and it looks like right now that he is the second best tight end in the NFL after our boy Travis Kelsey. Devon Witherspoon, yellow. Tony Romo, TJ Hawkinson, Randy Don't Care White, Dorian Williams, rookie, Brees Hall, Shaquille Leonard, and then our last pack. This has been just a big giant box of garbage. All right, Stefan Diggs, Kadarius Tony, George Pickens, Vintro Miller, Clinton Portis, Jason Taylor, Thunder Lane, Aaron Jones. Okay, Woo. boy, that was brutal. Uh, let me uh, look up some of these cards. I think that we're going to have to go with the blaster boxes, but let me just double check. All right, so looking at these cards here, I was surprised to see that this Devin Witherspoon, I don't know if I looked at it wrong, but it looked like that a couple of these have sold for $15 each. And the Quentin Johnson, uh, a few bucks. Everything else in here was about a buck or two. Um, so I am... I'm not quite sure to... Which of the three options was the best? Um, I feel like it's not the Mega Box. It's got to be either the Blasters or the Mega Packs. Um, but they all kind of stunk. They all were kind of a tie. Uh, which is getting me back to my belief that really the best thing to do is to not buy boxes to open at all. Um, you know, like I spent $180 on all these boxes. I don't have $180 worth of cards. If I would sit on that $180 for a few months and wait for the newness of this product to wear off, 
I could be getting, you know, like some really nice CJ Strouds, some really nice Anthony Richardsons, not the base cheap stuff, like the good stuff of all the hot rookies. And I would get a, a much better return on my investment. So I am considering this as just a lesson in the likelihood of what you get is going to suck when you buy unopened boxes of pretty much any sport at all. Now I have a hobby box of the new Volume 2 National Women's Soccer League cards coming in in a few weeks. It's probably the same thing with that, although I know that um, I should get at least one or two autographs in that. But that's all going to, you know, you need to hit one of the big stars for that to be a, a big payoff. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well. Good luck if you rip some packs. Hope you do better than I did. Peace.